24. Coming up, we've got some great matches planned for you this hour. Don't go away. Pull up an easy chair, sit back, relax, enjoy yourself. Some great wrestling action is coming your way. We will be seeing Ricky Gibson against the Easy Rider this hour. Also, we've got Kerry Booth and Dennis Gale in the matches. Bob Holly against Gaddafi. Also a great tag team match. And Marvelous Marcel Pringle and Jerry Stubbs taking on Bob Sweetan. And again, it'll be Ricky Gibson. Some great matches coming up. Professional wrestling at its best. And we've got our first match in the ring. Let's go to it right now. Ricky Gibson against one of the Easy Riders here, Papa Rock. This is Easy Rider number one. He is one of the smallest of the Easy Riders. And he, uh, give him a name of Easy Rider number one. And he's going to be taking on Rick, Ricky Gibson. And both of these wrestlers are new to world organization wrestling. So we are looking forward to a great match between these two wrestlers. As always, we would like to say hello to some great affiliates along the World Organization Wrestling Television Family Network. Albany, Georgia, Channel 31, Channel 15, and Griffin, Georgia. Great wrestling fans there in the state of Georgia. Channel 13, Panama City, that's WMBB. Let's not forget our friends in Fort Walton Beach on Channel 35. Channel 25 in Gulfport, Biloxi. And we'd like to welcome WPMI, Pensacola Mobile. Some great television stations carrying World Organization Wrestling. Each and every week we bring you the best in professional talent. The very, very best that we can get for you. Ricky Gibson in there against Easy Rider number one. Again, Papa Rock, we got our first look at him last week. That and is so true. We CJ. don't know a lot about the Easy Riders. That is so true, and we understand that uh, Easy Rider number one now is in there with uh, Rick and Gibson. And we did see the Easy Riders one and two on last week, and they did give us some exciting yes, wrestling here on World Organization Wrestling. Yeah, referee in there is Ray Hall. Ricky Gibson has got a claw hold of, of, of kind of a kind. It's, it, it's a paralyzing type of hold. It, it numbs the entire shoulder area. Cuts off the blood supply to the neck. And also the shoulder and the arm area. As you can see, the Easy Riders going to take a break and try to get the feeling back in the arm and shoulder. Ricky Gibson from Pensacola, Florida, originally. Easy Rider, number one. He's a wily veteran there, Papa Rock. And that is so true. It just seems like the Easy Rider, Easy Rider, number one, and that to his pockets and got some type of object out. Now the referee up on his arm. So undoubtedly the Easy Rider will bring some tactics to the ring that might be just really legal. Now the guy won't win any bodybuilding contests, that's for sure. That's true. But again, you don't have to be six, five, you know, a solid 280 pounds to be a good wrestler. It's know-how, it's ring savvy. It's knowing your way around the ring, knowing where you are at all times in that wrestling ring. Side headlock applied by Ricky Gibson. Oh, and he's putting the leverage into him, I'm telling you. Laying the leverage into the easy rider. Oh, that'll give you a cauliflower here. Oh, what a shoulder! Gibson laid on the easy rider into the midsection. Kicks out at the two count. There he goes back to that paralyzing claw. Ricky Gibson just seemed to be so fast, you know, and he, he moves so fast, he got all the tight. There he stumps the hand and applies his pressure. You find all this, just exciting wrestling. You're on World Organization Wrestling, CJ. Oh, yeah. Ricky 
Ricky Gibson working all over the neck, the shoulder area of the easy rider. He goes to the ropes. He's a veteran. Can't take anything away from the easy rider. He's Seems to be concealing something in his hand. He definitely does, CJ. And Ray Hall hasn't found out what it is yet. I think we are about to find out what it might be. He just goes. I think he just used it there, CJ. I think he just used it right there. Whatever, whatever, whatever object it were, I think he just used it right there. Buried one into the midsection of Gibson. Uh, whatever it is, it seems to, uh, to affect the eyes of Ricky Gibson. Oh, he got up there so high on that drop kick. This Gibson is extremely impressive. Tremendous velocity on that body slam. Took him down to a two count side headlock. Easy Rider slings him into the ropes. He misses him with a... Oh, and a flying body press. Gibson lays on the Easy Rider. Drink up. There's your winner. Ricky Gibson, Pensacola, Florida. We'll be back with more action. Don't go away. Revere's has long been recognized as Mobile's foremost donning tradition, featuring Mobile's favorites Monday through Friday at special prices. On Monday, enjoy Revere's delicious shrimp dinner for only $7.95. Their mouth-watering choice prime rib is only $7.95 Monday through Saturday. You can savor the Revere's tradition every day with their luncheon buffet for only $4.95. During happy hour, relax in Revere's cozy lounge after a hectic day. Return to a Mobile tradition. Visit Revere's today. Oh, nasty fleas and ticks, get them off of me today! With this incredible technological breakthrough, the Biopet. It uses high-frequency sound to rid me and your house of fleas and ticks. Order PET-1 for only $18.95 today. Proven in documented tests, the Biopet flea and tick collar is 100% safe for me and my owners. Field tests conducted in kennels by veterinarians and individuals showed Biopet was preferred over all chemicals, easy and safe. That's right, only $18.95. Call 1-800-342-4236 and no more dips for me, no more powders for me, no more flea collars. Yes, the Biopet will give me the power of PMBC ultrasonic sound. Call now, order PET-1. <laughs> For more great values, watch CBN late Saturday night at 12.30 here on WPMI. Mr. Owl's Travel can open the door to the happiest, most wonderful vacation you'll ever have. Travel down under to the fastest growing vacation spot in the world on our Australia, New Zealand, Fiji trip, only $28.95. This price cannot be beat anywhere on this exciting trip to the unspoiled land of beauty. Or come with us and experience New England's colorama of autumn, only $8.95. Our country music and showtime tour in the Ozarks leaves this month. Enjoy the fabulous plays and shows, only $2.95. Contact Mr. Owl's Travels today, your home of affordable trips. I'm C.J. Whitmore along with Larry Pearson. How about this match, Larry? Kenny Boone going against Dennis Gill in this match. This is a very good match, uh, C.J. Kerry Booth is being assisted over there by his new tag team partner, and we might add it a very up-and-coming tag team partnership it is from Bob Hall and Kerry Booth. Kerry Booth is a strong well put together wrestler very tall wrestler yes CJ. he's in there against the cowboy dennis gale from jake in georgia just imagine a wrestler being tall like that it's hard to get up and get those holes and lock up like a yeah. wrestler is accustomed to doing buck williams in there refereeing this match and dennis gale goes to work on Kerry Boone. Dennis Gale in there hustling, constantly in motion, constantly working. Nice move by Dennis Gale. One thing 
thing C.J. talking about these tall wrestlers, the best way to handle one is getting down to your size, and that's what Dennis Scale is doing, bringing him down to the mat, and then he's just as tall as you are when he gets down there with you. That's right. You, you're exactly right on that. It was a, a long time ago. Don't make observation, no right? Look at it. He's got Gale down there. Face face uh huh. Time. Armbar applied by Dennis Scale on Kerry Booth, putting all his weight behind it. Oh yeah. Always have liked the Dennis Gale and his wrestling style. Dennis reminds me of a fine footed wrestler, collegiate wrestler. When he comes in that ring, he comes in to wrestle three days. Yeah. You see a lot of wrestling out of him, a lot of different holes and moves. And that impresses me. I like to see a wrestler come in and actually get out to basic wrestling. Uh, he's a th uh, thinking man's uh, wrestler, if you will. He he's always in there, you know, thinking of, uh, of different moves and different defenses he and is. offenses, you know. And from my observation, he looks like he's got two or three moves ahead and yeah. behind and he yes. knows what he's going into. And, and he's a man that really plans out his matches before he gets in there as far as knowing what to do, uh, what comes available to him when one opens up. Just walking past us. I don't know if our cameras picked that up. Crazy Mike Diamond and Wildman Don Fargo like went out into the parking lot, came back in, and Diamond's shirts all ripped all the back. I don't know what they, they had a discussion between themselves or a discussion out in the. Uh, I don't know what happens? I saw the same thing. I mean, oh, it's what's going on. But I, I did observe them go out earlier, and I just saw them come back in, and you didn't. Looks like something's happened to their shirts, some kind of scuffle or something. I don't know. They got into some kind of some kind of uh, brouhaha out in the parking lot. They certainly didn't bring it in here to the arena. We'll have to look into that. Hey, there's always something going on here, Larry. There's five minutes brewing here. It's hard to keep up with. New talent each and every week. And it's just exciting to see it all happen in front of your eyes as you and I both have, as Dennis Gale goes to work on Kerry Booth. Shoots him into the rope. Hard elbow. Here's a cover. Two. Kerry Booth kicks out. There's still some fight left in Booth. Like you said, Lariat. Gale's got him down to his size now, doesn't he? Those are not the open their fist, which is a legal maneuver in wrestling, professional wrestling. Those are closed fists, which is definitely illegal. Bob Hall over there in the corner. Trying to get Kerry Booth and bring him on. Nice move on Dennis Gale's part, but it backfired a little bit here, Larry. I think he took front of that shot himself, which will happen. One thing about those suplays, backward suplays and things like that, CJ, if you're not careful, when you're up in that area, you'll get yourself tied up. You'll get your weights and balances off, and, and a lot of things can happen to you. So it's very important to up there. It's when you get a man up there that you got your balance right with him or you, you, you uh, suffer some damage yourself from him. Here's your cover. Lateral press by Gale. Gary Booth kicks out. They're both fatigued in there. Oh. What a shot. Dennis Gale gave Gary Booth. And another one buries it in there. Drop. One thing you learned early in this business, for every move, never hold is a reversal. And that's what you saw just then. Kerry Booth reversed that board all morning, or reversed the hold, preventing him from doing it to him. 
Dennis Gale in Nice. Counter move on Dennis Gale's part. Down to a matter of conditioning here, Larry. It is. It's obvious that both men are starting to tie a little bit, CJ. So this match can go anyway now. Whoa! Oh, line off the rope. Yeah. Administered by Kay Booth on Dennis Gale. Going for the cover. Kicks out on the two count. If I was a betting man here, Larry, I would put my money on the cowboy. No, Only sir. because of this. Because of the fact that he was at one time the World Organization Wrestling Television Champion. He's been there. He's been in there against extremely tough competition. And not to take anything away from Kerry Booth. Believe me. That's true, CJ, but I learned a long time ago in this business. When you got two men in that ring, you can't never tell what's going to happen. Two. Foot to the rope. Booth throws his foot over the bottom rope there. Referee breaks the hole. That's what Dennis Gale thought of that. Bob Hall getting somewhat upset in the corner over hollering at the referee. As you said earlier, these two, Kerry Booth and Bob Hall, have teamed up now to be tag team challengers in this area, and I know they're looking forward to having a successful tag team. Bob Hall is very serious about his career now as a professional wrestler, as is Kerry Booth, and they both share the same philosophy. Nice move on Kerry Booth's part. Elbow into the neck of Dennis Gale. I don't know which way this match is going to go. Oh! Gale gets him in here. Two, three, count! Your winner! Yeah! That's it, the reverse. The cowboy, Dennis Gale. Looks like Bob Hall coming to the ring, CJ. Upset about that victory by Dennis Gale. They're double teaming up on Dennis Gale down the ring. I still think that you should have a referee on the side. This is one thing about tag teams when people come out here, right. uh, the partner to be managers in the corner. Things like this happen right here, CJ. Oh, no. Throw some order to this oh, match. No. Here. Somebody needs to come in and do Someone something. Needs There's to no get sense in there. In Bob there. Hall has entered the ring. They double teamed up on Dennis Gale. I don't Buck care how good Jar is. I don't care how good Jar is. Here comes referee Ray Hall out into the ring now. Dennis Gale. Who shoved the referee down? We're going to have to take a break, wrestling fans. Stand by for these messages from World Organization Wrestling, and we will be back with Rick's Corner. <laughs> World Organizational Wrestling has a big Labor Day weekend card. This Sunday at the Border Street Arena in Pensacola, Jerry Stubbs versus U.S. Heavyweight Champ Bob Holly. Fargo and Diamond meet the Coastal Connection. One member of each team must wear boxing gloves. Newcomer Brent Samu takes on Ricky Gibson, and Marcel Pringle goes up against Dennis Gale. Tickets are $5 for adults and $3 for kids. WOW is on the road. Lumberton, Mississippi, September 19th, and Pascagoula the 26th. Look for these and more WOW dates. This is Larry Pearson with WOW Wrestling. This Sunday night, September 6th, I have with me Jerry Stubbs, Mr. Perfect, who will be going against Bob Holly, the WOW Heavyweight Champion in a non-title match. You know, that's Bob Holly and not Bob Sweetan. Where's Bob Sweetan? He's not even on the card. Somebody must have the money in their pocket. And as far as you, Bob Holly, I don't know what happened, but I sent my contract over there for the title match. But there's not gonna be any title match. This is a non-title match. Are you scared to put it up, boy? Don't be scared to put it up. Be a man, be a champion, like I've always been. I've always had an open contract for anybody. Put their name on the dotted line is what I always said. That's what you need to do, boy. But it needs to say the U.S. Heavyweight Championship, not no non-title match. Bob Holly, Bob Sweetan must be out of here. I don't see him on the card. You'll be next, boy, because I'm going to get that, that title right around my waist. At the Border Street, is that where it's at? Border Street in Pensacola, Sunday night. You people better be there, because I got something to prove. It was money at first, now it's title. Bob Holly, you're not going to hold on it too much longer, because I'm going to have it right around my waist. And it's too bad it won't be this Sunday night, because you, too chicken, too yellow, to put it up. I'm going to be the next United States heavyweight champion in this area. And you know what I mean, don't you? 
Well, well aren't you fix your hair sometime, man? You look like you just got up. That'll be Sunday night. Be Let's like call us September 6th, Border Street Arena. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of Rip's Corner. Before we get to our guest today, again, I want to mention to you people out there who are interested in becoming a professional wrestler or a professional lady wrestler, the address and the phone number will appear up on the screen. It's Border Street Arena, 2230 North Border Street, Pensacola, Florida, 32505. Air code 904-453-3806. Get in touch with us here at the Border Street Arena at the WOW headquarters. And for you to to becoming a professional wrestler, I think you've got what it takes. Get in touch with us, we'll give you all the details. We've got a class starting in the very, very near future. Now, to get to my guest today. No, sir, this match is exactly what it proved out to be. CJ, very exciting. I don't know how much time we've got left. So nice. I've just been oh, on the top of weekend's head. We're going to hear from him. So, wrestling fans, be with us again next week on World Organization Wrestling. Don't go away. For Larry Pearson, Papa Rock, I'm CJ Whitmore. We thank you for your support, and we'll see you next week.